Oi, right, people of YouTube. It is a scorching day today. It's gonna be like 90 something degrees. Uh, I got Seth and Ian out here right now, and we are going to be stripping apart this old girl. Uh, sadly, she's uh, not gonna see much more road time, but hey, it is what it is. We'll, back, we'll fire her up, back her out of here. We're gonna pull the glass, pull the engine, check some compression, and do a handful of other things, and uh, we'll point out some stuff as we find things. So. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and get the gas can out of my trunk because I left it and I'm parked way out on the other side of the driveway, which is great. And then uh, get the jumper pack and hopefully she'll come to life and we can back her up and get her in front of the garage and rip her down. Stay tuned. Drums at all. So make sure she's not in gear. Get this pop bottle in here. Enough to where it'll probably start a fire, but the fire won't be too bad. Get her turned on. Timber pack's got 38%, that's plenty enough, right? All right, go ahead and turn her over. No juice. No? Give us a throttle. The car probably's got nothing in it. Regardless, those are solid numbers. Yeah. It's not like my 8 one where it was making 30. Yeah. I'm surprised. He had a piston basically like in, in half almost. Like the well, scars were gone. It wasn't quite that bad, but it definitely had a big hole in the side of it yeah. where the little gases had all been skipping past it. Yeah. I smoked my, my engine pretty bad. <laughs> Oh, it surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> You're 
pretty much above 150 on all of them. That's that's really good. Yeah, we'll run it. Let's go. Ahead. Alrighty, well we got the compression numbers checked. We got about 150 across the board, so I'm pretty happy with that. So for now, we're going to set up a time lapse and start stripping her down and piece by piece, she's slowly going to be all apart. So this will be the last time she's together. I might take a couple pictures in uh, honor of her wonderful memory, but... Yeah. Well, here's some progress. Made a pretty good amount of shit come apart. Got a lot of the interior out of it. Nina got most everything off. Seth and I have been pretending to work on some stuff, and my buddy Tony's over here also pretending. <laughs> yeah, true that. So, here's the floorboards. They're pretty mint. I mean, there's behind the little bit of floor mat right there, there's. Yeah, it's pretty good. We've seen better, but we've seen worse. Thank goodness I didn't drive home and have my football to the floor. This is still up for grabs. Watch the last video and you know what to do. I'm giving this thing away. I think we're gonna probably pull the engine out of here. Then we're gonna flip her over, pull the trans out, and then it should be almost everything. There we go! Yeah! A little more! No, there's other manifolds on the other side. Let's keep going. Yeah! GoPro saved. Jeez. Oh my god. This poor girl is crusty. Woo.
pancake. Something's holding it up. Shoot. Well, minus the roof, here she is. One 1983 Toyota Tercel four-wheel drive wagon. This car ran and drove from over there to over there for its final voyage, sadly. But a lot of parts have been salvaged from it. I bet this old girl had a lot of stories if she could talk, but sadly she's going away. I'm gonna get melted into Mountain Dew cans, which are gonna be delicious because I'm thirsty and could, could, could uh, go for one right about now. So, um, got this thing finally pulled out. Uh, if you guys watched my last video, you know I'm doing a giveaway for this. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check out the video of me rescuing this car, and then uh, you got a chance to win this exact manometer right here. So, uh, yeah, watch that video and you'll see where to enter it. That's all I got for you guys today. I appreciate you watching. I'm back in the air conditioning, cracking a cold dew right about now. I think I'm gonna go for the uh, patriotic flavor and uh, yeah thanks a ton for watching guys uh, sorry this video is pretty all over the place it's a little difficult to film and cut things up at the same time but hey I'm having fun learning so that's all for me today I'll catch you guys at the next Toyota Tercel adventure whenever that may be hopefully it'll be soon have a good one guys